Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. Today I'm making a dish called Hoppin' John. It's also black eyed peas and ham hocks. And I went ahead and put some ham hocks in the bottom of the slow cooker. And I've went ahead and rinsed some beans and soaked them overnight. I'm gonna add those in. Also I have some garlic that I chopped up in the garlic chopper. Add that in. I'm going to add in some a little bit of crushed red pepper. Also I've diced an onion and I'm going to put some chicken stock in it and a bay leaf and just kind of go as uh, go along and then let it cook and then I'm going to break down uh, the meat off of the ham hocks and then add it back in and I'll do some more stuff but I just had to get the prep work going so first thing I did was put the slow cooker on and put it on low and let it heat up put the ham hocks in there and I'm going to go ahead and add the I added some diced some onions Added that in there. So I diced those onions. So I'm going to add, and this is pretty cool. I got a little, it's a little garlic chopper where you just put it in there and then you turn it around and chops up the garlic. So I added a bunch of that, that in there. Put the garlic in and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the beans first in the water and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and I drained the beans, got them in the bowl, I'm gonna add them in here. And let that simmer in there. And it's gonna cook with all the other stuff. And I'll be adding in some um, chicken stock. Get that in a minute. Okay, so I put the beans in, I put a bay leaf in there, put some red pepper. Okay, so I got the bay leaf in there, the pepper and the ham hocks, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the four cups of chicken broth, and I'm gonna let that simmer for quite a few hours. And I'll show you what it looks like after it's cooked for a little while. Okay, so here at the Ham hocks have been cooking for quite a while and all the beans are getting nice and soft and I'm going to go ahead and take the ham hocks out and take the meat off the bones and add them back in and I'll show you what a, it looks like once I get all the meat back off the bone. So show you. Be right back. Okay, so I got most of the meat off of the bone, and I'm going to let it simmer for a little bit longer. And I'm actually going to put a can of tomatoes in there and let it cook for probably another two or three hours. And then I'll add the tomatoes in and then should be cooked by then. And this is what it looks like with the meat mostly off the bone. Okay, so been cooking for a little while. I'm going to add some lemon pepper, a little bit of sprinkle on here, and also going to add some diced tomatoes with what this is with a little jalapeno. You don't have to have jalapeno. You can just have regular diced tomatoes. Thought I'd put a little bit of heat in it 
these usually aren't too hot in the, in the can, so I'm going to go ahead and add this in there. And going to give that a little stir. And with all that in there, I'm going to let it cook for probably another two hours. And let that all get incorporated and then I'll take these big bones out with all, all the uh, meat on them after they've been stewing for about about two hours and I'll let you know what it looks like when it's all done. It's all nice and done and it has been cooked up and I made some rice I put it in a bowl And here you go. Here's the Hoppin' John. It's the ham hocks and beans over rice. And I'm going to add some, a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. Put that on there. And I made some, these are So here we go, it's all served up in a bowl, put some hot sauce on it, and I made a jalapeno corn muffin, and I'm going to have that along with it. So that's going to be my dinner, so I'd like to thank you for joining me, and until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, this has been What's For Dinner.